The new White House press secretary takes over today. Corinne Jean-Pierre is the first Haitian to hold this key position and the first LGBTQ plus person. Well, the president's groundbreaking choice has created a horde of controversy, especially among the pro-Israel community. CBN's Tara Mergener brings us the details. It's the press secretary's job to speak for the White House, dispense news, and try to manage the media. President Biden's latest pick, however, is making headlines herself. This is a historic moment, and it's not lost on me. A former chief of staff to Kamala Harris, Corrine Jean-Pierre has been promoted in what's regarded as the most diverse administration in U.S. history. She will be the first black woman, uh, the first out LGBTQ plus person to serve in this role. She will give a voice to so many. Born in Haiti and raised in Queens, Jean-Pierre has a long career in democratic communications. She succeeds Jen Psaki, who's taking an on-air role at MSNBC. In a statement, the president writes, Corrine brings the experience, talent and integrity needed for this difficult job. One that also comes at a difficult time for the administration. A veteran of two presidential campaigns, the 44-year-old now takes on the challenge of conveying the administration's message as midterm elections loom. But we're walking around like, woe is me. And President Biden's popularity plummets. I just appreciate this time in this moment, and uh, I hope that I make people proud. Jean-Pierre is aware of the media's impact on politics, often using it in her past role as a Democratic strategist. Donald Trump doesn't really care about the country. While receiving wide praise for the high-profile position, not everyone is embracing President Biden's pick. Former Ambassador David Friedman tweeting, Amidst all the celebration of Biden's new press secretary checking multiple boxes in identity politics, the mainstream media forgot to mention that she hates Israel. Karine Jean-Pierre has a track record of making anti-Israel statements. As an example, she's accused Israel of committing war crimes, quote unquote. In 2019, as a spokesperson for MoveOn.org, Jean-Pierre wrote a scathing op-ed in Newsweek, endorsing the boycott of a historically bipartisan group, which advocates for a strong U.S.-Israel relationship. She's also accused the America-Israel Political Action Committee, APAC, of indulging in uh, racism and Islamophobia. One wonders is whether she'll be capable of being objective. Critics also charge Jean-Pierre's marriage to CNN anchor Suzanne Malveau is a conflict of interest in the position, though a similar arrangement happened during the Obama administration with Press Secretary Jay Carney. CNN has sidelined Malvo from covering politics and the White House for now. Should it matter here? No, it should not matter, but it does. And why does it matter? Because we're in a climate right now, a political climate and a media climate that is so polarized that the last thing you want is any sort of appearance of conflict of interest. Or a history of pushing disinformation, as critics point to tweets like this one sent shortly after Donald Trump won the 2016 presidential election, which she called stolen. She made a similar claim regarding Stacey Abrams following the 2018 Georgia governor's race. There needs to be a measure of credibility. And if you've been on the record um, declaring such things as you know, Stacey Abrams is the secret winner of the 2018 Georgia gubernatorial race, uh, that, that credibility is very severely uh, and perhaps irreparably strained. Press secretaries have the power to shape presidential agenda and public perception. Jean-Pierre supporters insist she'll use the power of her post wisely. In Washington, I'm Tara Mergener, CBN News.